It's that time of year again. How in the world? But here we are staring the holidays right in the face. And if you've been following along for a while, you know that every year I love to share some of my favorite things for the holidays that I'm buying for my own friends and families from incredible companies that give back from brands that are women owned, from social enterprises doing so much good in the world. So let me tell you this. If you've shopped my gift guide for one year or multiple years, I promise you've made a difference because you've shopped, you've changed lives. I continue to hear beautiful stories from so many of these businesses. These companies are able to survive and thrive and expand because of your support, this community support. And they're able to continue to help more and more people as a result. So I have something extra special for you this year. I'm focusing on six companies that I love. You might recognize five of these from previous gift guides, and I have one new amazing company to share with you too. But instead of just telling you about the products this year, I want you to hear the stories directly from the women whose lives have been changed because of your shopping from the gift guide. Each story is different, and I hope you find them just as precious and important as I did. I think you'll be even more inspired by the life-changing work that they're doing. And I hope you'll love this year's amazing selection of gifts to shop. So show these rock stars some love, please, and shop all the goodness over at jenhatmaker.com slash gift guide. These businesses make a huge difference, and so can you. Thistle Farms will be very familiar to many of you in my community who have been following along for a while. You've probably heard me say I have Thistle Farms scrumptious candles in every single room of my home, and I love gifting them too, along with their lotions and bath and body care, essential oils, home products, everything really is delicious. But here's the thing. It's one thing to talk about what this incredible social enterprise is doing, how they're dedicated to helping women survivors recover and heal from prostitution and trafficking and addiction, and how they do this by providing a safe place to live, meaningful work, and this lifelong sisterhood of support. But it's a whole different thing to actually witness the power of this work in real life. That's why I'm introducing you to Rachel. She's a 2017 graduate of the Thistle Farms program, and I got literal goosebumps when I heard her story. So I wanted to bring it to you here. Rachel's still here with us, and now also making a beautiful impact in the lives of others because of Thistle Farms. Thistle Farms saved your life. So when you listen to her story, you'll see why you are not just supporting others, you're saving lives when you shop at Thistle Farms. Hey, I'm Rachel. I am a 2017 graduate of the Thistle Farms Residential Community. Thistle Farms is a two-year program, residential program, for women like myself coming out of addiction, prostitution, and sex trafficking. We live free the entire time. We go through counseling, mental health therapy, physical, medical, um, all sorts of kind of healing and recovery. And then after several months, we start working at the social enterprise that is Thistle Farms. So the program is free because of all of our donors and our social enterprise. So we, after being in the program, like myself, I was in here for about seven months. Then I started working for the social enterprise, making bath and body products, working at the cafe. We run a restaurant with wonderful, high quality food. Thistle Farms works in the sense of, like myself, I have been through 13 different treatment centers and um, residential programs over the years, um, and nothing ever worked. I was at the end of the road. I was completely desperate. I was um, sitting in prison, and a lady from Thistle Farms, one of the original graduates, came in and spoke to a group of women in the prison, and when she explained it, she described it as we get to live in this gorgeous home, fully furnished for free. We even receive a stipend every week. 
And that just encouraged me. And so I got out, I went straight to Thistle Farms. I felt the love and the support. They bought me hygiene. They bought me clothes right when I came in. They like basically just put their arms around me and let me just rest and breathe. And I tell you, I have never been in another community that that's actually allowed. You're always having to pay rent. You're always having to go out and immediately find a job. And how am I supposed to even think about working after the things that I've been through and coming out of that? All a lady needs to do is just rest and breathe and heal. And Thistle Farms does that exactly. They set you up for complete success their success rate today is 75%. Women like myself go through it. Um, we get jobs. We have a living wage. We start saving money. We start mending our relationships. I mean, I hadn't even spoke to my family in 10 years. And I'll never forget a year after I had started and I was living at Thistle Farms, my dad came to the house and um, met me for the first time in like 10 years. And that was huge. And that had never happened before. And he gave me that chance and opened up that relationship because of what I've been able to focus on while being at Thistle Farms. My life has changed tremendously. I even look different. <laughs> I work in real estate. My company knows exactly where I come from. They actually, because of my story, have now become huge donors of Thistle Farms. And we, my current company, um, sponsors Thistle Farms events a lot. We um, donate a ton of money, all from my story. Not only that, I have bought a house. I didn't even think I would be alive let alone own a house. And I, I own a car with no car note. I own a house. I have three cats. I have a job. I have a savings account and a retirement account. And um, I've lost a lot of weight. I mean, there has just been tremendous change and impact, a direct result from the support and the community of what Thistle Farms has done for me. And not only everything that I just mentioned, but I also now serve on the board. I'm a board member at Thistle Farms and I have founded a mentorship program that helps current women. Um, and it's just been unwavering difference for me. I would like to say to Jen and Jen's community, thank you for the bottom of my heart on behalf of all the women in the Thistle Farms community. When you guys buy our products, buy the candles, buy the incredible body lotion that I apply every night, when you guys buy these products, you are literally sending a woman through the program for that two years. Thistle Farms has been able to track the support from you guys and it has resulted in about $75,000. And that is actually exactly how much it costs to send a lady like myself through the two years. So not only are you buying a really nice, high quality product, you are impacting women just like myself. You are giving me a living wage. You are putting money in my bank account. You are helping me become a wonderful high member of society. And I just want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. It really makes an impact. And we love you so much, Jen. And we love your community. We love you all so much. And thank you. Thistle Farms has supported and who are now thriving. That's because of you. You have helped these women survivors. You've made an impact that really cannot be matched. And it is incredible and it is beautiful. So Thistle Farms has this Renew and Revive gift set that is such a great gift for literally anyone. I mean, do you like candles? Check. Do you like to wash your hands with amazing smelling soap? Check. 
How about this incredible grapefruit jasmine room mist? Oh my goodness, it's in there too. Plus these handcrafted coasters, so pretty. This is so lovely. When you shop Thistle Farms, use my code for the love to save 15% off their entire website, excluding sale items. So just head over to jenhatmaker.com slash gift guide. Okay, y'all, you've probably heard me confess that my coffee creamer is the chemical fake flavored kind. Like I just am who I am. I will not, I'm not sorry, all right? But the coffee itself, that I take very seriously. The minute, I discovered Wagon Coffee, you better believe. I was gonna let all of my people know about them. And we've been caffeinating with their yummy and ethically and sustainably sourced blends ever since. So aside from their tip top coffee, what you really need to know about Wagon is that this is a company, a community really, built on grace and second chances. I want you to meet Tammy Canaday, the founder, who's gonna share more about their incredible work and where it all started with an initiative called Free. We're also gonna get to hear from Anne Marie, who works with Wagon and is one of so many who has been positively impacted. And it's all because you and really all of us have been filling our cups with their coffee every morning. Hi guys, I'm Tammy Canaday, owner of Wagon Coffee, and I'm so glad to be with you. Thank you so much for all your support, Jen, over the years. It's truly made an impact and, and such a difference for the women in recovery behind the scenes here at Wagon Coffee Roasters. You know, we started Wagon Coffee two years ago, but even before that, we started a community called Free, and that was in 2018. And it kind of continued to grow from Free to Wagon, and we started it because my husband, Ryan, he's a pastor in recovery. And... The pretty sexy story, as he would say, would be he became so he got sober and then became a pastor, right? But it was the opposite. He was a drunk pastor, and he got sober, and now he has this incredible story, and I get to live this story too because his transformation happened. But I also had to grow as an individual. And so my transformation had to happen. And the beautiful thing was our transformation as a married couple happened. And so in 20, he, he will be sober for, he's nine years sober and will be 10 years sober in January. But we started Free Spiritual Community together in 2018 together. He's an addict, I'm the loved one. And then we also have a category called Spiritual Refugee. It's those that have felt harmed or kicked around by religion or God. Um, a lot of these people will identify as um, gay or lesbian or in a category that, like I said, have been hurt or harmed by religion. So we open, um, we are open to sharing with them God's love, God's grace. And when we talk about God's grace, it is God's grace and it is love and it is pure love, like all the way around, you are loved here. Um, and my background is coffee. And so when we started free together and we were doing free, my way of service and giving back was through coffee. With almost 20 years of experience, I thought I could start roasting coffee. And so I did at home on a little home roaster. And as we grew and people realized that Wagon Coffee's proceeds went back to support the recovery efforts in the recovery world, it grew. And then when Wagon Coffee started in October of 2020, um, I had I had enough support behind me that it truly helped me leap and it catapulted me out of my fear where I could say we could measure this by helping support women in recovery from addiction. And so that's truly like the money goes back to the bottom line and we know we're making a difference, but it's also through story and storytelling of how these lives are transformed here behind the scenes. Uh, our coffee is... Uh, really great coffee. We roast all the coffee here inside of Free, and we source it from at least 10 different countries. We're always rotating a new featured roast every month as well, but we know the impact stories 
in the countries that we're making when we buy it as well. So we, we talk about it as this huge trifecta of impact because it's affecting women in recovery from addiction. It's affecting these countries of origin and the farmers' families because we're paying them verified living income. And we also roast on a clean energy bellwether roaster. So it's also going back into helping the environment. So we see this this beautiful way of, of three things that it's um, – global, a global impact. It's a community impact. It's a global impact. And we're so grateful to be able to do it with, with people like you that also get to contribute to this, this impact that, that's lives beyond us and outside of us. And when we talk about recovery, that's what we're doing. We step outside of ourself, we serve, we give back, and we're impacting people that are outside of our walls. So I'd like to introduce you to Anne Marie. She's been with us since the beginning. So my name is Anne Marie, and I started working with Wagon Coffee a little over two years ago. Um, my career, my profession is that you know I fly planes, um, and then I you know had some difficulties with alcohol, and I started into recovery. I got out of treatment in early 2020. And I was attending my home group meetings Monday through Friday um, at Free Spiritual Community. And so I just dove into it. I couldn't, uh, I was unable to fly due to um, having to undergo treatment and some monitoring so that I could get back to that. Um, and so I just tried to dive into my meetings and I was hanging around Free Spiritual Community and starting to make a, a recovery group to just get um, a social life that included recovery and good people. And Ryan and Tammy at Free Spiritual Community really make you feel welcome. They, you know, recognize you, remember you and your story. And so every time I came in, I felt so welcome. And that led to um, what, Tammy asking me to become part of Wagon Coffee. She needed some help filling orders and I loved, you know, hanging out with her, but also just getting to feel useful and be able to help her with this mission of supporting women um, in recovery, especially. Jen Hatmaker's community supporting Wagon Coffee, you know, gives us um, the purpose and the drive. Um, we come together and have that mission to deliver that. And we love thinking, you know, that we're sending this out to somebody to make their day special. When we partnered with Jen Hatmaker on um, several different projects now. It really um, blew up the business that we were doing. And so I want to personally thank Jen Hatmaker's community for continuing to support Wagon Coffee all these years, giving uh, us women in recovery a job to show up for and supporting our recovery. So I curated two Wagon Coffee bundles that you and everyone on your list is absolutely going to love this year. My Caffeinate These People coffee pack includes fierce free and fire blends with tasting notes that include delicious things like milk chocolate and dried cherry and toasted marshmallow, praline. It's good stuff, you guys. Like I almost don't want to put my creamer in it. We also created a For the Love coffee for you that's bright and fruity and sweet and syrupy with notes of cherry and vanilla and ganache. And when you use my code for the love, you save 10% off their entire online shop of goods that benefit women in recovery, as well as special initiatives like Grounds for Health, which is a community-based cervical cancer detection and treatment program in Ethiopia. Some of you may be familiar with Treehouse and Company's incredible line of nut-based rubs and spices and toppings. If you are lucky, you may have even tasted them. But what you may not know is everything that owners Kim Hill and Paulette Wooten cook up behind the scenes of those incredible spices. I love these girls. They have such a unique story. They spent a ton of years in the music business before embarking on intentional events for women. Because um, you know what they discovered? That good food and good drink and sitting around the table is where you find healing and connection. That was the space they needed and a space they know so many of us need to. So when you shop with them, it funds their nonprofit called Friends of the Treehouse, which hosts women in crisis and who need an intentional break, but do not have the means to financially sustain the cost for any kind of retreat. So for the last couple of years that you've shopped Treehouse, people have found healing 
because of your generosity and the generosity of others. I'm telling you, you're going to love Kim and Paulette as you listen to more of the story behind their passion and purpose for Treehouse. First of all, we just want to say thank you to Jen and her community for supporting our small little two women <laughs> company, the Treehouse and Co. Um, we are especially grateful because Jen helped launch our company a few years ago. And so we always love being part of the holiday gift guide and anything we can do with, with you all. Um, a lot of people ask us how we went from being musicians to making <laughs> rubs and spices because both Paulette and I, I'm Kim Hill and I'm both Paulette, Wooten. <laughs> Paulette and I spent decades of our first half of our adult lives doing music. Um, we were in Christian music. We did women's conferences. We did worship music. We did all of that stuff for over two decades. And then we found ourselves, like a lot of people like Jen and a lot of people in her community, we found ourselves realizing that we no longer necessarily fit in that world. Mm -hmm. And we started dealing with a lot of deeply held beliefs that we had to kind of untangle. And as we sat around our table mm -hmm. talking and, and figuring some of that out, we launched a our first company, the Nashville Treehouse, where we held retreats, intentionally small events for women who we thought might be going through some of the same stuff. And um, we started that in 2013 in Nashville. Mm -hmm. and, and one of the things that we really found with this is, honestly, good food, good drink, um, and sitting around the table is actually one of the most I mean, I would say the largest places like to find healing because we started hearing the stories and sharing our experiences and we would linger around a table for hours and hours, starting from breakfast all the way <laughs> through dinner. Like that was where everything happened. And what we realized now is that was like the space that we needed personally. And so I think everything is usually created out of our own need. And so we found this sacred, really safe space with other women. And then we had the opportunity to move over to North Carolina to a property that was in disrepair. We helped rehab three houses, a pond, a greenhouse, a barn on 58 acres in Burnsville, North Carolina, which is just a little mm -hmm. north of Asheville. We would have never moved here, no. <laughs> but we left <laughs> Nashville and it was it was, again, um, we didn't realize it at the time. We were creating something we needed. We needed space for healing. We needed to get in nature, get our hands dirty, be in the woods. Yeah. And those couple years spent working on that property, for me personally, were just incredibly healing. And we started finding ourselves hosting people at the one of the cabins, the nicest cabin. We started having friends and family that were dealing with loss, death, crisis, grief, mm -hmm. cancer, all kinds of things. We started inviting them to come to the cabin and Paulette would cook great food for them. And we would hang out with them. Sometimes we would also give them a lot of space to be alone. And as we did that, we realized, wow, this is the thing that we love the most, but it still had a mm -hmm. big element of food. And we also realized we, we couldn't really make a living hosting people <laughs> at the cabin. And so when COVID happened, that property, um, we had to shut everything down. And again, we were kind of like, oh no, what do we do? We have to pivot. <laughs> and Paulette is the queen of ideas. I can't figure out what to do, but Paulette's <laughs> always like, has a thousand ideas. Um, mm. And so she yeah. came up with the idea of, hey, what mm -hmm. if? I mean, because everyone was always asking, how do you make this? And they always wanted to know, like, you know, the recipes. And <clears throat> so I was like, what if we take some of their favorites and create products like the candy pecan rub? I was like, oh, my gosh, I could package that and we could start selling it. So here's our candy pecan rub. We just um, launched this and it was amazing that Jen believed in this product and believed in our company and shared it with her community, which was amazing how supportive um, and just that they have been and it's helped us to continue creating more products. We're so excited about releasing more new things that actually help fund 
really our real work that we love doing, and that is to provide this space for people through our nonprofit. And so another just huge thank you to the community. Because we were brand new. I mean, we were brand new when <laughs> yes. y'all met us in 2020. And um, people ask us all the time, like, how did you get customers from all the country so fast? And we're like, Jen Hatmaker. <laughs> <laughs> so we are, we're so, so grateful. Mm -hmm. And now we have, um, we just recently, we've been using a different spaces to host people over the past couple of years. And now we have a new cabin. So we're so excited again to be able to, we have a waiting list of people that want to come and now we'll be able to host them. And so mm -hmm. we're incredibly grateful and looking mm -hmm. forward to um, what this next holiday season brings. Also, one of our goals is to be able to hire some women in our small town. We live in a very small town now mm -hmm. and there are a lot of women that need just temporary work, need some extra mm -hmm. income, due to their own losses and crisis. And as we've been made more aware of that, we are very excited to now have a new space, another commercial kitchen in town that we can work with women in our little town. And so yes. we're super excited about that because we've been big fans of Thistle Farms mm -hmm. and the Wagon Coffee Roasters and some of those mm -hmm. companies that we have right. tried to model after. And mm -hmm. we've been looking forward to being able to grow so that we can do some of that same kind of work. Yeah. And we love Jen stuff for the love. And so we feel like it's a good tie-in for us to be part of yeah. the things that she does. We are so grateful to all of you. We are grateful, Jen, for your endorsement and your encouragement of our mm -hmm. business and, and our hard work with our nonprofit, mm -hmm. Friends of the Treehouse. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You can't go wrong with any of the products in Treehouse's storehouse. Just get the whole set of like nut-based rubs and toppings and you'll have everything you need for any kind of food imaginable, including ice cream. But I also collaborated with Kim and Paulette on something super fun and brand new this year. My holiday spice box is inspired by my cookbook, Feed These People, and includes autumn and winter spice essentials, gourmet salt and pepper, ta Texas taco seasonings, and y'all, fierce spice, because yes, we like it hot. It even includes one of my favorite kitchen gadgets, a nutmeg grater. It's such a yummy set. When you shop Treehouse, you can save 15% off everything they have with my code for the love. I've put the details for you over at jenhatmaker.com slash gift guide. Should we count the ways we are obsessed with Abel? Listen, community, I literally always have something from Abel on at all times. This dress is from Abel. This is just the way it is. And I know tons of you have also shopped their incredible handbags and apparel, jewelry, shoes, accessories over the years for yourself, for other people. We love their timelessly modern, but really comfortable styles. And we also love that they're an ethical fashion brand that employs and empowers women as a solution to end poverty. I mean, it is win-win. They are deeply devoted to quality, both in the products they make and in the quality of life they aim to provide. They invest in, train, and educate women so they can earn a living, break the cycle of poverty, and thrive. Um, I've believed in Able from the very start, like more than 10 years now, back when it all started with just scarves that they were making and was inspired by the founder's trip to Ethiopia, meeting young women who were just in a hard place and needed help. And now look at Abel's glow up, how they have grown from those hand woven scarves to literally a full lifestyle brand, which is of course in no small measure because you have shopped and supported their artisans and makers here in the U S and beyond. I'm so touched that Katie, one of Abel's jewelry makers is here to tell her story. Uh, hi, my name is Katie. I am a jeweler for Abel. I started working here June 4th of 2021. I was referred to this job through the rehab that I was at. I was in the transition uh, career phase and was told about this job, this opportunity. Um, I, before that, had been, had gotten in trouble and was in uh, jail. I went to jail and um, got out and went to um, a program. And with my having um, a background, it's hard to find a job. 
and a good paying job at that. Um, and being a mother of three, a single mother of three, uh, I, it was hard to find a job. So I was referred here because ABLE gives you a second chance, an opportunity to make a real living wage um, and to give you another chance. So I came um, and I've been working here for a year um, and I just love it. I've been, um, I never even thought about making jewelry. That was just all kind of, you know, came with the job and I love doing it. It's, it's really nice to see what I can make and you know I would never have thought to make jewelry but it's and it's not even just the job it's the um, the family that comes with it the um, the benefits we get uh, they take very good care of us the, the insurance the dental the eye that we have life insurance through um, ABLE we uh, we all have a share in our stock. We all own a part of ABLE, and I just think that's wonderful. That's a big deal. Um, I've been through a lot of jobs, and I've never made it a year. So this is the longest job I've ever held down and loved, and I love coming to work. I love being here. Uh, I love being part of something that is bigger than me and doing more for the greater good. Um, and sharing my story and being around the women that have been through similar situations and going through struggle. It's given me a purpose and it's given me the, uh, just the drive, the will, I mean, to have another chance because it all comes down to really, uh, I'm not a bad person, but I have made bad choices in my life. But Abel has gave me another chance to prove, uh, who I can and will be. And, a good mom, a good person, and I can share that with my children and show them that they can do the same. Most of the women that work here um, have been given another chance and have come from struggle and um, has been defeated, And but we all come together and we work as a team, as a family, and we make beautiful jewelry to be sold and to circulate and help other women. I want to personally, on behalf of Abel and myself, uh, thank Jen and her community and what they do and for buying Abel products because that gives me a chance to be a better mom and person and woman for my children. What a beautiful story from Katie. When you shop Abel, it's not just about their super cute clothes or like their buttery handbags or boots or that necklace or earrings. It's really also about people's lives. What you wear counts in very important ways with ABLE. You absolutely cannot go wrong with anything you purchase from them. But I have featured a few of my evergreen absolute favorites, like the best denim jacket you'll ever find in your entire life, I stand by that. Some of the most beautiful and practical handbags and totes. And my go-to jewelry pieces, including an all new elephant necklace that I designed with Abel to represent the power of a community of women. You can see all of these pieces and discover more about that elephant story over at jenhatmaker.com slash gift guide. Plus, make sure to use my code for the love to save 40% for zero during the entire month of November. That is a crazy good code Abel gave to us. And my code will save you 25% in December. So shop early for that extra savings. Get the details at jenhatmaker.com slash gift guide. How much do we love Aspen Lane? I have been fangirling this lifestyle gift company for so many years, practically since they launched in 2014. And I know a ton of you have as well. Aspen Lane is woman owned, which we love. Owner Micah Shreve is just a powerhouse behind this whole operation. And you get to meet her here today. She's telling us all about the passion and mission behind all those amazing gifts and styles for every season and every single possible person on your list. I'm telling you, this is a one-stop shop for unique and funny and fun and meaningful gifts. But the difference is that Aspen Lane not only employs their own team of 15 women, they also source products from other ethical U.S.-based teams and artisans. And when you shop with Aspen Lane, you are elevating and supporting women right here in the U.S. now 
and for generations to come. Micah has even opened two actual stores in Denver because of the growth of her company and is now employing even more women who need jobs. Hi, I am Micah Shreve. I um, am the founder and owner of Aspen Lane, a lifestyle gift company. And just we would love to thank Jen and her amazing community for her support of the gift guide this year. I started Aspen Lane in 2014 um, when I saw a need for new gift lines in the industry. And I really... Um, has de- really has developed into a company that is a go-to gifting that you need when you need to find a gift for your mom, your best friend, yourself. And we really seek to just um, elevate women and support women in all that we do through our team members and through um, our partners that we work with on both the manufacturing side and the buying side. Um, so Aspen Lane um, is a lifestyle gift company. So we are your go-to um, company to buy gifts for everyone in your life. We say we're um, gifts and style for every season. Um, we're based in Denver, Colorado, and um, we have lots of amazing gifts to give everyone in your life. Um, we call it, let's just make it happy. I am so fortunate to have an amazing team of 15 women, both here in Denver and at our um, manufacturing partners um, around the country um, that help create a lot of our in-house products that we design and manufacture from the ground up. We have a sewing team that is based out of Missouri. That is a team of 12 women that help sew our apparel items like our robes and some of our um, other categories like our baby items um, where we are able to um, really source things ethically, pay them living wages, and really are able to keep everything um, in you know made here in the state. So um, we're super also excited that we recently launched what we're calling wear for good. So all of our apparel items in our website and in our physical stores, um, we are giving 5% back to um, local nonprofits here in Colorado that are women and children focused. So our first partner for um, the rest of the year and for 2023 um, is a local organization here that um, helps rehabilitate and support um, survivors of sex trafficking. And um, we are really excited that we're, we'll be using our resources and our time and our our products to, to just, you know, give back and help smaller organizations that may not get other support from from larger corporations um, and really invest in and go deep with them. And our goal for the first year, this next first year is over 50,000 we've committed to. I would love to thank Jen and her amazing community for her incredible support the last um, few years surrounding our company, Aspen Lane. Um, Because of your direct support in buying our gift products and sending them to your girlfriends and your moms and your teacher friends, um, we have been able to grow. We have been able to give back to our women. We have been able to keep our team employed through a really challenging few years in in kind of the retail and shopping space. So um, we're so grateful for your continued support. um, And we're grateful that you would consider us for this gift guide and to consider us um, when you need to kind of buy that gift for, um, to make someone's day happy. Thank you. Thank you for doing that through every gift that you do. You're, um, you're continuing to support women, both nation, both locally here in Denver and throughout generations to come. I just love this company so much. They turn up the volume so much on gifts, like super special stuff. For example, a tumbler, but not just any tumbler. They have one that's studded and in super fun colors. I've also been loving their quotable flower sack towels with both earnest and also hilarious words on them. So pair that with a Feed These People cookbook and what more could you ask for? And of course, everyone who shops them and has shopped them so far has done tons to support the local women and artisans and ethical companies behind it all. This is a good place to put your dollars. 
In addition to those tumblers and towels, I put some of my other favorites together in a section on their online shop. And you can save 25% off all of those with my code for the love. Just click over to jenhatmaker.com slash gift guide and start your shopping engines. So I have a new to me company to tell you about this year. It's my first time featuring them in my favorite things gift guide and you are going to go absolutely crazy for them. It's Hun's Honey and I am in love with what this social enterprise has been doing for the last four years now. So they call their work the Healing Hive because they're all about creating a community of support and encouragement as they employ women survivors and give them dignity and purpose. Sarah Batley, Senior Director at Hun's Honey, says that bees would actually die without each other and without community. This is a true thing that happens in nature and what a beautiful and perfect illustration of what we as human people can be for each other too. Anyway, Sarah is going to tell you more about Hun's Honey origin story and their work, and you'll also get to meet Miss B, who shares a bit about her recovery story and how Hun's Honey has transformed her journey. But first, you have to know that I am 1 million percent obsessed with Hun's Hot Honey. I made my own hot honey and feed these people for my grilled shrimp and coconut rice recipe, but if I had known about Hun's at the time, I would have just told you to save the trouble and just order a jar of theirs. Also, put it on pizza and thank me later. Well, here at Hunt's Honey, we would love to thank Jen Hatmaker and her community uh, for the shout outs for us here in Curtis Bay, Maryland. I wish uh, you could see outside these windows. We are at the corner of Church and Pennington in a zip code in Baltimore City that has some of the highest vulnerabilities in our city. Uh, Hunt's Honey exists as a social enterprise to give women dignity and purpose through meaningful work. All of the women who work here are survivors of trauma uh, that looks like generational poverty, sexual exploitation, active recovery from addiction, and uh, other forms of abuse and exploitation. Uh, we're grateful to be here. We've had a presence in this community for 20 years. We've had a nonprofit in this community for 10 years. We love to stay here at Hun's Honey and Drink at the Well, our parent nonprofit, that we're good neighbors. We provide food and clothing and assistance to any member of this community who walks through our doors. But Hun's Honey exists to help women in our community to rise. It is an active employment, and you'll hear from Miss B a little bit more about that in a minute. But now, my name's Sarah, and I'm the senior director here at Hunts Honey, and I'm working really hard to work myself out of a job. Uh, all of the women who work at Hunts Honey are women from this community, and there's a few of us that help on a, a management side that are working actively to have women in the community take over our positions as well. So here at Hunts Honey, we have employed women. We have 15 women employed here. They're all part of an active program of called Core Life, Community Opportunity Responsibility, where they're learning uh, soft and hard skills. Like that, this is what they would say: "I'm learning to love myself and to love others again in my life." And so, as they're working hard on their own life through education and through mentoring, they have the opportunity to work at Hunts Honey. Our business started four years ago after a fire in our community wiped out 11 homes and displaced 20 some individuals and families and uh, we wanted to bring commerce back to a part of Baltimore City that hasn't seen active commerce in decades so we uh, actually in our community is a very vibrant garden at Filbert Street Garden and they have beehives and four years ago they had an over excess of actual raw local honey that's how we got started we just had some excess honey what we have turned into is bath and body goods and incredible products, all natural, all essential oils. Our, our key point, as you know from uh, Jen Hatmaker, is our hot honey, our infused honeys, all made with our local raw honey. Honey itself has uh, many, many healing benefits. And the ways that bees live in a hive, they live in absolute community. They would die without one another. The queen would die without the hive actively caring for her. And that's uh, that's what we do here at Hun's Honey. We are a healing hive. We live in community. It's not easy some days and it's beautiful other days. We like to say it's brutal around here. But um, 
We are working hard to come up with some of the finest products you would want to purchase, but not just want to purchase them. They're products with a meaning. They are employing, not only just employing women, they're giving women an opportunity to own a business. Well, it's with great joy I get to introduce you to my dear friend, Miss B. And um, I'm, I'm inviting Miss B to come here and tell you a little bit about her, both her experience at Hans Honey, what it was like getting her to walk through the door, and then what happened uh, in uh, her yes. life after she walked through the door. Yes, um, I'm Miss B. And I am an alcoholic, but I'm one year, well, let me put it this way, 14 months sober. Um, when I came to Baltimore in the area, and I'm in a transition home, and I was pushed a lot to go out and come to the well, and, you know, they have all these programs and everything. I'm like, I don't want to go because I don't know these people it, but I tell you, from the day I made the decision and walked through those doors, I've been here just about every day since. Um, the program, the, the core life program, um, teaches us uh, about trauma, um, budgeting, finances, uh, um, a relationship, being a big community of women that we can discuss and feel good about ourselves and uh, open up. And thus, I started working for Hunts Honey. I've been working for them for four months. No, I'm sorry, six months now. And it's a beautiful feeling to come in these doors and just be ready to get into our workflow, labeling, bottling the honey, all the different products, and see how we all work together to get those products ready and to be shipped. And just just looking at them in a group session is just beautiful. Um, if one person doesn't know how to do this, there's always somebody and we all group together and we get the job done. And I tell you, um, I don't like when the weekends come because I'd rather be at, at Hunt's Honey doing what I need to do. I need to be here at the well and Hunts Honey. Because if I'm not, I'm gonna be sitting back thinking about my past. I don't wanna think about my past. It's one day at a time and I wanna to continue to move forward. Mm -hmm. And if it wasn't for Hunts Honey, having that job, I'm telling you, I feel, hey, I'll be 61 next month. So it feels good to be able to be in a comfortable place. Mm -hmm when you shop we are able to employ and women are able to rise yeah. it's a it's a simple equation but we uh we live in it every day here don't we miss yes, uh, for one another <laughs> we talk about mutually transforming and so our lives are mutually being transformed just from uh, being here at our healing hive so thank you thank you jen hatmakers community thank and you. thanks for uh what you're going to do in, in pursuing looking into hunts honey and our healing hive see what did i tell you Huns is just the best. In addition to that hot honey, they have many other delicious infused and creamed honeys along with incredible like honey-based bath and body products that are handcrafted, all natural with essential oils. So dang good. When you shop Huns Honey, you not only get the very sweetest and hottest products, you're ensuring that they are able to employ women and then those women are able to rise. So use my code for the love to save 15% off their entire online store. I've linked it all for you at jenhatmaker.com slash gift guide. I hope you've loved this year's holiday gift guide as we literally unwrap the stories behind these six businesses and social enterprises that are out here doing the most. Thank you to everyone who has shopped my gift guide in previous years. You are a part of these stories. You made these successes and this life change happen. So y'all let's continue to keep the good things going. And this year, let's make the biggest impact ever for gift guide. You aren't just giving an amazing gift to a friend or a family member, or colleague or teacher or whoever. You're also giving support to so many others in so many ways. I love it. Thank you. Let's do this.